After you've made your decision on which smartphone, phablet, or tablet to buy, you're probably going to want to do a couple things. Number one, you'll want some kind of a case to protect your investment. Number two, you'll realize that battery life is limited and you'll want some way to extend that. I'm Joe Levi for Pocket Now. This is a hands-on look at the HTC Power Flip case for the HTC One Max. This is the HTC One Max, the Sprint Edition, and back here behind this case is a non-removable 3300 milliamp hour battery. Now that's a large battery by any stretch of the imagination, and even with this very, very large screen, it does a really good job at lasting for a very, very long time. However, since you can't replace that battery, you're going to need some way to get a charge, whether that's having a car charger or some other way, a portable battery or whatnot, to to recharge this whenever you need it, you're going to have to have that. Also, this is a very unusual size, so finding a case for it, especially a case with the flip cover, was not easy. Luckily, HTC has you covered, and that is this. And no, no pun intended. This is the HTC Power Flip Cover. It's somewhat expensive, coming in around $65, at least that's what it was priced at Amazon when we filmed this video. It looks just like any other flip cover, right? Except it doesn't. Notice down here, if you will, these three little pins, and on the back, this little raised button. It doesn't actually do anything, it's just there to kind of index the case, which I kind of like, but what does it do and why is it there? Well, if you notice on the back of this HTC, you have these three little gold pins. Now, I've been a fan of these for a long time. They're called pogo pins. And what they do is they let you plug in without plugging in. So if you've got a car dock or a desk dock, you can just set your device in. And if it's compatible, it'll have three little gold posts that will touch those three little gold circles there. And you'll be able to charge while you're in your car or it's on the dock. But in a case, sure enough, let's go ahead and install this. We're going to put it in this side first. It installs just that easily. And it looks good. You've got your front firing speaker grill holes up here on the back. Nice cutout for your fingerprint scanner, your flash, your camera, and down here that HTC badge. You've also got some cutouts for your microphones and whatnot down here for USB charging and your mic down on the bottom as well. Now the first thing that I've noticed is this cover is very heavy, relatively speaking. And I thought that was just, you know, a sign of quality. But once you get deeper, you find out this case has a ribbon that runs through here and over to this side. And this side includes a 1200 milliamp battery, 1150 milliamp nominal, inside it. So here's a case that adds no more bulk other than what a case normally would. And this one doesn't add too much bulk at all. You still have very nice finger grips. You still have access to your buttons without going through uh, any kind of cutouts or auxiliary buttons or whatnot. You've got this really nice stand feature so you can set it on your desk, set it up like that, set it on your lap. It works well. It looks good. It protects your screen. It protects your corners. And it's got a 1200 milliamp battery inside. So. It looks great. It's a wonderful case. I would highly recommend it. It costs a little more than normal cases. A normal case like this, you're probably going to be looking anywhere from 40 bucks to 50 bucks. This one costs about 65, so it a little it is a little more expensive, but to include an extended battery, I think it's very very well worth it. One other item of note, you're probably all interested in battery life, right? Well, with 3300 milliamp hours inside, an additional 1200 milliamp hours in the cover, how long does this last? You know what? I'd love to tell you, but I can't because we never ran it out of battery. We've had this thing for about a week now and I have just barely charged it one time so that I'd make sure that I have enough charge for this video. It lasted a very long time. Now one other thing to look at here, if you'll notice our battery icon has a little green plus sign which indicates that we are getting supplemental power from the case through those pogo pins. Very, very cool. 
As you can see, this idea is brilliant and it puts pogo pins to a perfect use. Probably a reason why every device in the entire world should have pogo pins. If not for this particular reason, for reasons like this that we just haven't seen yet. If you like seeing this kind of stuff, why not give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends on any one of your favorite social media networks. My favorite is Twitter, where we're at PocketNow and I'm at Joe Levi. Thank you very, very much for watching. For PocketNow, we'll catch you next time.